What's up? What's up, you two? So we're going to make a root beer float. Again, major thanks to the fans who donated money to my um, PayPal earlier. I appreciate it. And uh, Landfill gave me 20 so now I got like 26 bucks and 19 cents. Holy shit! <laughs> $45.31 in the PayPal. What? I don't know where the extra 45 came from. Or where the rest of that, that might have been from when I bought the tactical soap, to be honest. We definitely got enough money for uh, a little bit of weekend booze. That's what's up. Thank you for the $5. God damn. I am blowing up today on the uh, bite size Cobra vid sent you $34. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, right. Now, by my calculations, bite size Cobra owes me more money than that. But thanks, man. I appreciate the money bite size. <laughs> now, how would you feel if you had someone stealing your content and spreading lies about your friends, making no apologies for it, and, and just, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever. Like, I'm not going to bitch because I just got 34 fucking dollars, dude. That's not the money you owe me. That's not all of it, dude. But it's, it's it, okay, at least you're paying me some money, you know? The only thing bigger than you're spreading lies about my friends, which isn't cool. On top of that, you're stealing money that doesn't belong to you. Like, you're making money off of my content. God damn, dude. $79.31. Yeah, Cobra's definitely going to have an awesome weekend. I'll tell you what. I'll have to get me some alcohol here after a bit. God damn, dude. $79.31. That is most definitely what's up. For me, that's a lot of money. For a lot of you, that probably ain't shit. 80 bucks is probably chump change for a lot of people, but for me, that's a lot of money. So I appreciate it. I still got a little bit, a little bit of like a 10, 11 bucks left. So I might just save that in the PayPal for, uh, for laters. Pour it, pour it, pour it. Uh, 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 uh. There it is, fully prepared. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not nothing. I'm a YouTube celebrity with big ass muscles and a huge schlong. Huh. No, it's not enough that I respect women. And I, you know, and I fight for animal rights and animal kindness. No, it's no, it's not good enough that I play a wicked guitar and that I can sing. And I'm great with kids and I'm great with elderly people. No, those attractive qualities are just not enough. If you're not good looking and you don't make a six dollar income, hey, they don't give a shit. Dude, if I lived in my fucking dream house, I, I would be killing it on the dating scene. You don't even know. But his trolls are dickheads. He's got the autism. Bud Light Platinum. But beauty is in the eye of the beer, I mean, beholder, YouTube. And yes, conventionally less attractive chicks are easier to approach because you don't feel intimidated. They're not like this perfect 10 stunning model, like, holy shit, she's hot. You know, it's more like, damn, she's fine. I can approach that. All right, cool. You know, it, it don't matter how big your dick is, fellas. If you got a smaller dick, you just got to pump faster. That's all. Nah, you know, and you know, I, I, I may be autistic, but I'm smart enough to see that when a woman's taken, I back off. Even though I could be a total cuck, but I'm like, nah, why do that? <clears throat> and every time it happens, like guys, almost nine times out of ten will look at me and go, um, excuse me, she's with me, and I'm like, no shit, I'm not gonna try anything, bud. Calm the fuck down. Oh, he's totally checking her out. Like, fuck off. If I wanted to have her, I could. There's a kick in the pants. Let's do a little dance. Yada, yada, yada. Caffeine and sugar. I'll be your horse if you want to be my jockey. Spake me with that riding crop, mistress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta take a beer piss. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm 
Who's that thirsty troll? Gobble it up. So it's like if she gives you a lousy ass blowjob, but she's like, "Well, I want you to suck my puss," you know what I'm saying? In return, kind of thing, whatever. And you're like, "Okay, half-assed lousy <clears throat> pussy job," and there you go. But can you blame women for not wanting to suck dick? Honestly, I can't. You know, if I can't suck my own. Why? Would, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. If I can't suck my own, why would I want to suck someone else's? And, you know, us guys, we have no control over when that thing goes off. Once we reach that climax, it's going off. It's just how it is. On behalf of men everywhere, I'd like to apologize to the female sex. I'm sorry Mother Nature made it harder for women to get off. This one appeal to Chatterbait. You can watch hot of age chicks. They're stupid the fuck out of your league. Chicks you would never talk to in real life because you're just like, you know your boundaries. You're just like, yeah, you're way the fuck out of my league. But I want to sit here and watch you anyways. Would it kill a man to have a little bit of chivalry and be like, so, you want to see it? Want, want your consent first before I just send it kind of thing, you know? This is where Cobra becomes an asshole. Spoiler alert. Oh, this video is going to piss off a lot of people. And I don't care. And remember, it's not my fault that <coughs> Mother Nature's sexist. <coughs> okay, there's the sneeze. <coughs> oh, here's a little side note. I could have a therapy animal in my new apartment if I wanted to. Just got to provide the proper paperwork and I can make it happen. You know, so if I wanted a therapy raven or a therapy dog or a therapy cat, I could totally have one, provided I have the money and the paperwork that says this is a companion animal for King Cobra JFS. He has autism and this animal, you know. And sometimes dating uglier chicks is easier. They aren't getting the attention. There's no competition for them. But it's like... You try to fuck them, and it's like, okay, picture someone hot. Okay, Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie in a bikini. Oh, yeah, Jennifer Lopez in a bikini. Billy Elijah in a bikini. Katy Perry in a bikini. Okay, yeah, that's enough hot chicks. Boop. Oh, look, baby, I'm hard enough to fuck you. It took me a little bit. Okay. Bonnie Taylor's I Need a Hero. Okay, that's the song I'd like to dedicate to all the sexy of age women out there. You want a man who's strong and ready to fight for your honor. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Yeah. Now it's going to be stuck in your head. <laughs> he's strong, he's fresh, and he's back from the fight. Arr, 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 arr. Like, I am mad, hear me roar. Now, even if he's fighting for gender equality, he's still fresh from the fight. I'm sorry, but this is one of the songs that I grew up listening to. Sex is not a need to want. Okay. He's got to be strong. Yeah. He's got to be fresh. He's got to be back from the fucking fight. A lot of women crave that man who's larger than life. I'm going bald. I haven't had pussy in three years. My trolls bully every chick I try to talk to. But that don't stop me from talking to chicks, dude. Bye. What would be the male equivalent of this song? Would it be I need a slut? I need a slot. She's gotta be a bitch. She's gotta have big titties and she's gotta be clean for the night. Oh, God damn it. You wanna smell like your hero? Grab some of that tactical soap. Well, I gotta take a piss. I'll be right back. Both have unrealistic expectations for each other. You know, the woman's G-spot inside of her pussy, it feels like a warm walnut shell, just this rough patch. 
in the back of her vagina. If you tickle her vagina on the inside, got that rough little patch in the back. That's the sweet spot, baby. Tickle that, tickle that rough patch. You want your nails to be trimmed and clean. You got one, you got two fingers on her G spot. And one thumb on her clit. Just, mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Yeah. The little bean shaped thing. You got your pussy lips and that little dangly bit above the hole. Okay, you see that, that dangly bit above the hole? You got your pussy lips. You got the hole for fucking. And that little dangly piece in the middle. Fellas, that dangly piece in the middle is called the clitoris. And if you uh, gently rub on it, it gets hard just like a penis. And uh, it's super sensitive for a lot of women. So there you go. King Cobra's <coughs> got <coughs> excuse me, the advice. <coughs> excuse me. King Cobra JFS is the hero of gender equality. Even if you don't want to hear it, it's the goddamn truth, and it really makes you think about how the other side perceives things. King Cobra serenaded us with a couple of bars. I suppose I could. I can't wait for Sounds like a fucking train crossing fucking. <laughs> All right, one second. Okay, we got some more of that. Yeah. Woo! Rock and roll, motherfuckers! Yeah! Rock and motherfucking rock! Rocking that Cradle of Phil shirt. The one, number one Cradle of Phil shirt to piss off the Jesus freaks and the feminists at the same time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the trolls can suck Asperger's because King Cobra is a good singer. <laughs> Which, when you get Cradle of Filth and Ozzy Osbourne knuckles, you're definitely a fan. Well, like 80 to 90% British, according to my Ancestral.com report. If I can't sing like the Beatles, then what the fuck? That's what's up, YouTube. I'll get you haters.